Hello and welcome to the CFD basings with OpenFOAM screencast. In this short video I would like to show you and describe how the OpenFOAM uh, case structure looks like. I will, I will show it on the example of most basic OpenFOAM tutorial named Cavity, uh, dis which describes uh, lead-driven cavity flow. Firstly, let's see uh, what's in uh, what's inside of the main uh, direct directory of the case using three commands. Here we have zero, constant, and system directories. In the zero directory, we have described all boundary and initial conditions. In this example, for p pressure and u velocity. So let's see first the pressure the pressure uh, uh, file. Here we see that the pressure is scalar field because pressure is scalar. As the dimensions it may be strange but in incompressible in, in uh, solvers in open foam the pressure is given by, by meters squares per second squared. squared. If we want to uh, see the real pressure we have to multiply it by density. And here below we have, uh, we have uh, described the uh, values of pressure in internal field in, in our domain and here below the boundary field of our pressure. So here we have described the boundary conditions of our pressure. On moving, moving wall and fixed walls we have zero gradient which is equal to uh, the gradient normal to the wall is equal to zero and on front and back we have empty so we see that our model is two-dimensional and we don't solve any equations on front and back walls. As for velocity, uh, velocity is vector field because velocity is a vector. The dim dimensions of velocity is meters per second. In the whole domain the velocity at the first time step is equal to zero and moving wall is moving with uh, one meter per second along x direction. Here we have defined no slip at uh, no slip uh, boundary condition which means that on this wall the velocity is equal to zero and once again front and back means that we are solving two-dimensional simulation. What's next? Here we have constant directory that contains uh, polymesh in which our mesh is described and transport properties in which our kinematic viscosity is described. The most, most important uh, from user point of, point of view uh, the file in polymesh is the boundary uh, file Here we have described our boundaries and its type. So moving wall is type wall, fixed walls are type wall, and front and pack is empty. This whole polymesh di directory is created while we run block mesh command, which creates our mesh based on settings in the system block mesh dict. In transport properties, we have uh, uh, we have described uh, all the parameters of the species we are solving. In this case, in compressible one phase, we have only one species, and here we have described only the kinematic viscosity of this medium. Uh, in uh, in our domain. Also, while wh while we are solving, uh, while while we are modeling turbulence, in this constant we have turbulence properties uh, the uh, file in which the turbulence model used is described. The system directory we have block mesh dict in which our mesh is described control dict which the contains the settings of the simulation, FV schemes and FV solution uh, describes uh, 
numeric color methods used during the calculator simulation. F, uh, FV stands for finite volume. So we have finite volume schemes that are used to uh, solve our variables, our equations, and, and, uh, and uh, finite volume solution which describes uh, what methods are used to solve the equations, what tolerance uh, are uh, we want to get, etc. So let's see control dict. Here we have start time of our simulation, when our simulation will stop, and what will be delta t, the, the time step size, and how often we will save our results. In the block mesh dict, our mesh is described, described. So we have defined here vertices, blocks based on these vertices, and and boundaries. Here we describe the, we define the type of these boundaries. So we have moving wall equal type equal to wall for fixed walls. Uh, the type is wall, and for front and back, the type is equal to empty. This empty is connected to this part of uh, definition of the, of the mesh, because here we say that we want 20 cells in x direction, 20 cells, cells in y direction, and one cell in z, z direction, so we define our mesh to be two-dimensional. In the FV schemes, our numerical methods are described. So we we tell OpenFoam how to solve uh, time differential, how to solve gradients of uh, the variables, divergence, Laplace, Laplacian, etc. And in FV solution. We define the solvers for pressure, velocity, the tolerance for them, and uh, what algorithm we are we are be using for our simulations. Whether if it's PISO, PIMPLE, or simple algori algorithm, it must be defined right here. So, we want to copy the tutorial case from tutorials folder and simulate, run it. How to do it? First, we have to load OpenFoam into our shell. So, in my case, I am typing o OF7, because I'm using 7th version of uh, OpenFoam. Next, I have to copy the tutorial. So, let's write... because I want to solve cavity from Ecofoam uh, solver. And I want to copy it here. Switch the directory for to the cavity. First, we have to create our mesh. We don't have poly mesh here, so we must run block mesh command. Our mesh is created, as you can see, and now we can use Ecofoam to solve our problem. It's a very simple case, so it uh, solves uh, it solves in uh, a seconds, and now we can visualize our results using uh, Paraview, Parafoam. We can, we must first click apply to show our results. Before I show you the, the results, I want to talk about the mesh. As we defined it before, we have 20 cells in X and in Y direction, and only one cell in Z direction. Let's go back here, and now we can see 
our results. This is a velocity field and this is a pressure field. Here in this uh, drop down list you can see that we have two kinds of uh, velocity and pressure. What's the difference? In this uh, first velocity the results are uh, shown interpolated between the cells and uh, uh, this second velocity uh, shows the field exactly as OpenFORM calculates it uh, in the in the in the cells. So it's more accurate but ugly looking. Here we use interpolation but it looks much better. So thank you for, for watching. If you have any questions write them down in comments and goodbye.